Hello, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic and the Onslaught Expansion. And uh, in this, well, in this step of the quest, we're going to be going to Mech Shah. And uh, it looks pretty interesting from what I can see from the loading screen art. Commander, welcome to Mech Shah, outlaw crossroads of the galaxy. Darth Shah, I'm pleased we finally have an opportunity to work together. I've heard such delicious things about you. I serve Darth Varon, head of Imperial Logistics and Civil Order. He asked that I aid in supervising this operation due to my experience with the galaxy's criminal element. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. It's good to work with such loyal supporters of the Empire. Loyal and deferential. The ideal partners for a mission like ours. Our goal here is more complex than it might seem. Let's step into the operations center to discuss the details. Wait, there's so <gasps> what? Okay, mysterious assailant, let's do this. I'm actually kind of surprised that we're having someone just flail around with Darth Shah right there. Did you see how hilarious she flew across the room? No offense, Darth Shah, not meaning to make you out to be absolutely helpless, but uh, that was quite funny, nevertheless. That was pretty funny. All right, so, well, this is going to be pretty easy. I mean, we've got Jakaro right here. I don't think we really have anything to worry about for the most part, so I can just... Go for it, you know? Use all my abilities that come up and we'll take him out. Gotta say, he took a while to go down, but we got him in the end. This was that. Chase them down and find out. You're kidding, right? Lord Shah still in one piece? Oh. Oh, yes. The force was strong with him. Pity he didn't stand a chance. For a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top priority mission. You must have done something truly stirring. I did threaten Anathel at the Dark Council meeting earlier. Anathel's assassins are usually a bit more fanatical, jabbering on about Sith codes of honor and whatnot. Ah, well, you handled him easily enough. Best if we return to the mission at hand. Shall we? Greetings. I am Darth Varon of the Dark Council. It is a pleasure to have you join us for this mission. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? Dreadful. I do apologize. It was nothing I couldn't handle. Of course. 
they should have known better than to try. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling. Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this, and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. And then we lure them in and attack while they transfer the fuel. Just so, my friend. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Heartbreaker, she led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a failsafe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. Perfect. How do we get started? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Huffbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Hutbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel. And help the Republic slip its head into the noose. Consider it done, Lord Shah. If any other developments occur in the meantime, we will inform you at once. And watch your back. At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck. Ah, interesting. All right. So basically, who is the assailant? Who do you think? Put it down in the comments if you have any guesses. But I'm... Uh, he... I don't know. I feel like the assailant has the same kind of stature as someone we know. And that someone is Darth Ma. But that's the thing. Darth Ma, as far as I'm aware, is very far away from here. And I don't think that, uh, I don't think that he would do something like that, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Anyway, we are now on Mekshar, and it is now time for me to apparently take a taxi. I gotta say, so far, I am very much enjoying this expansion, and if you haven't yet tried out playing Star Wars The Old Republic, I'd highly recommend it. Commander, Shar told me you were on your way. We're waiting for you inside. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Hilo Viz is actually here, which is actually really nice. But anyway, yeah, this reminds me of Nashadar. Very much reminds me of that. And I'm going to be interested to see exactly who is going to be at the meeting as well. So, wow, yeah, this is very much similar to Nashadar, isn't it? Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'll be glad to have any information you can give me. Just doing our part. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker. Revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune. But that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. 
Darth Shah said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mech Shah. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hutbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Walls, one of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Veek or Indigo? Simple enough. Thank you for your help. What are friends for? Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves! Now, we're masters! Imagine what we can become in just a few more years! All we've got to do is stay us! Be what we've been so far! We keep the peace, we keep the balance, and we keep moving forward! We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet! All we see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi! All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends. Expanding! Everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer. Stronger! By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here! <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy this speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? I have your Sith friend's word on it. The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism! Commander, meet there, Jedi Knight. It's so rare that we can step away from the war for a peaceful chat. Just because nobody's shooting at each other yet, doesn't mean the war isn't here. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side. And you're going to regret it.
The Republic is never going to win. You must see that. What I see is one more Imperial lapdog. Master Jedi. See you around. Ah, now I had a bit of a difficulty there. I thought to myself, should I be loyalist? Should I be dark side? I didn't really know which one to select, so I just went with the unique option, really, because let's face it, we've done a lot of different dark side options over the years, and uh, I don't really get many of those bracketed ones, so, you know, loyalist or smart alecky remark, whatever it may be. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Anyway, we are going to go and speak to the first of our meetings and uh, we'll see if we can maybe get something out of it. Keep on walking, I got nothing to say to imp lovers. Insulting me to my face? Not the smartest choice. Hutbreaker needs me and mine a lot more than she needs you and yours. You want to kill me? Go ahead. See what happens. Huh. I need another drink. Well, that didn't really go well. Maybe I should have been a little bit less aggressive. <laughs> yes, that probably would have made more sense. But I kind of thought, hey, maybe I can frighten him. But nah, there's no way I can frighten him, let's face it. If they have been slaves of the huts for years and years, then there's probably not much that can frighten them now. It depends on how well you treat your friends. I'm curious, what's your stance on fueling the Republic ships? It'd be better to discuss this in private. What do you have in mind? I am actually quite intrigued as to what they are selling down there. I actually saw a preserved entity of some kind down there and I thought to myself what what is that you know I'd like to see what that is but uh yeah maybe it's one of those legal experiments from some unknown planet somewhere or maybe a planet that we've been to already and I might just have forgotten but anyway let's speak to indigo now what do you want to the point let me return the favor I'm looking for some help. Interested? You think Darmanda want to fight and die in your little war? You're out of your mind. We're doing just fine on Mekshar. I'm here to get your help with our operations on Mekshar. No fighting needed. Interesting. Depending on the details. Look, this isn't a good place to do business. Too many years. Maybe the canteen will there, and we'll see. Hmm, alright. Well, I don't really know what to make of Indigo, to be honest, because we've only had literally, like, what, three sentences to speak with him so far? So, it's a bit difficult to ascertain his predilection, shall we say. But, anyway, Darth Char is here. What is your choice? What do you think? Leave it down in the comments who you think is going to be the better choice for us. So far, I'm thinking Indigo, because he's probably going to be straight to the point. And he's not going to 
Well, I don't think he would backstab us. I mean, it really depends. Mandalorians are interesting to deal with. Ah, there you are. Have you learned everything you need to complete our plan? Yes, I'm done here. Splendid. I hope your time was... illuminating. How'd I do? Too scruffy? Just scruffy enough? Scruffy isn't the word I choose. Hmm. I couldn't agree more. Gonna do a hit and run on Jot's turf a bit later. Need to keep the old crank from realizing who's behind it. Just need a few more sets of gear for the rest of my boys and we'll be off. I've rather loudly let the actual Nova Blades, as well as the Exchange, hear that I'm hiring extra muscle. Word should spread quickly. I'm on my way to meet with one of the crews we need to vote for the refueling. Wonderful. My master knew you were the one for the job. Well then, we all have our tasks before us. Shall we reconvene in the Brothers' territory later? Hmm, very interesting. All right, so now we get the opportunity to choose. And I think I'm actually going to read exactly what's going on here first. So let's have a quick look-see. The fate of the Republic reinforcements on Mekshar comes down to a vote. Unless a majority of Mekshar's influential leaders rules in your favor, the Republic ships can't refuel on the station, and you're one vote shy of a majority. Both Veek the Sneak and Indigo have expressed interest in striking a bargain but dealing with gang leaders will surely come at a price. Speak to Veek or Indigo to discuss what it will take to win their support. Okay, so here's the thing. Veek, in my opinion, is probably going to backstab us at the first possible opportunity because that's exactly what he does. He's, he's looking for an opportunity to exploit as much, well, as much out of people as possible so that he can make as much money as possible and that is completely understandable but that also makes him more predictable at the same time so i'm not entirely sure how i'm supposed to do it but uh yeah anyway indigo or veek so i have i i guess we'll go to the cantina and oh this this taxi doesn't oh it doesn't actually ah uh, yeah it's wonderful okay guess i will go to the imperial rest stop then and see if i can maybe take a taxi from there. All right, so I'm not particularly sure which one I'm going to speak to right now, but I can assume it's probably Indigo. I, I think it is Indigo because he said that we needed to speak to him in the cantina, but it could be either one. Well, well, you showed up. <laughs> I prefer doing business here. It's better drinks, no dress code. Industrial waste disposal on the back if there's trouble. Let's pick up where we left off at the party. Well, let's start here. What exactly do you want from me? I want you to vote in favor of selling fuel to the Republic. You want them to refuel? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, but I don't need to. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, and I'll consider it. What did you have in mind? You know that slimy little Roni and Vink? Runs a smuggling crew? He's been raising prices on me, and I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses, no chance the Darmanda catches the blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards, and I'll be in a nice spot. So, there it is. Take care, Vink. And the vote's yours. You can count on me. Veek is as good as dead. Take this communicator and get somewhere out of the way. Buzz Veek with it, and he'll think Hutbreaker's calling for him. Use it to call me when the job's done. Once I see it with my own eyes, we'll be golden. Excellent. Yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Very nice indeed. I like this. Okay, so this is this is a good a good thing for me. I think this is exactly what I was thinking about. Oh, well, not really killing Vig, to be honest, but I i don't really have any qualms about it either way, because as I say, I feel like Vig is probably going to betray us in some way or another, and I wouldn't be surprised if Indigo is relatively similar himself. So we'll see how it goes. 
Now let me just see if I can find where the taxi is. I think it's down here. Gotta say, I'm actually really liking this environment. You can see here that there's just so many different things to explore. I mean, if I wanted to, I could walk into each of these areas and have a look-see around, but I just really like the design. I feel like the design is really, really nice. Otherwise, uh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna be going in to the ambush point. Let's see what happens. Ah, there we go. There's the ambush point. Just gotta jump on these things here, and then we'll be ready. Ah, well, uh, I would like to be able to kill all of them if at all possible. Ah, yes, I can kill all of them. Oh, the guard is actually an elite. Ooh, that's going to be kind of harsh for me. But I should be able to kill Veek relatively quickly. Unfortunately, this guard is going to take a long time to take out, so that's unfortunate. But otherwise, they all should fall relatively easily. I ah, and I think I do actually get to speak to him. That's going to be pretty cool. There we go. Job's done. Good. The boat's yours. Good luck with your war. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. You know, knowing my luck, he's probably going to say something. Uh, if he says something, this is going to go badly. But I am now level 75, which is actually kind of nice. So I guess that's pretty good. Otherwise... Let's see what we can do with our hollow communicator and Major Andre. Commander, am I interrupting anything? I just finished convincing Indigo to support our plan. What do you need? Perfect. Remember when I mentioned that hit and run on Jot's territory earlier? Well, I've got my squad ready to move. Last thing we need is you. What do you mean? Jot's crew handles maintenance for everything in the station, including the failsafe system that roasts the fuel. He'll have a schematic for the failsafe on his computers. We need that data so we can modify the system to juice it up like the boss wants. My team hits Jot's place first, so he thinks pirates are trying to run off with some of his repair droids. While he's out chasing us around, you sneak into his HQ and grab the data. Sound good? Send me the coordinates and I'll make my way there. You got it. Before we dive into this op, I have to tell you, I feel like Balron's playing games here. Treating those creep slavers like they actually matter. Hell, playing nice with any of the locals. Boss's eyes are on more than just the mission, I'm sure of it. Members of the Dark Council always look out for themselves at least as much as they look out for the Empire. Baron and Shah especially. Alright, I've burned enough of your time. I'll move my people into position and we'll be ready to start when you are. Amri out. Ah, uh, well, thanks very much, Anri. Okay, that's, uh, that's a, wow. Oh, I, I don't even know. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to go to the alleyway, and uh, that will be it for this episode. So we'll continue our adventures on Mechshar in the next one. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.